Air quality is important because it affects our health and the environment. Health effects can range from coughing and difficulty breathing to cancer and even death. Environmental effects can include damage to vegetation and crops and issues such as acid rain that can kill aquatic life. Air pollution also contributes to climate change. The Clean Air Act is a federal law that allows EPA to regulate emissions and set air quality standards, for example, for six harmful air pollutants known as criteria pollutants. Each state in the U.S. must meet these standards. Air quality agencies operate sophisticated and expensive instruments to measure air pollution, but these monitors can be sparse. Recent advancements in technology have made low-cost air sensors available. Although they don't meet federal standards, they may be able to help fill in some of the gaps. Particulate matter, known as PM, is a mixture of solid and liquid droplets in the air. Particle pollution can aggravate asthma and even cause premature death in people with heart or lung disease. Particles are measured in microns and are more harmful the smaller they are. Coarse particles, known as PM10, can irritate the upper respiratory tract. Fine particles, called PM2.5, penetrate deep into the lungs. But where do particles come from? Coarse particles include suspended dust and sea salt. Fine particles usually come from burning fuels like coal, gasoline, and wood. There are many low-cost sensors that can measure particulate matter. Many pollutants are gases. Some gases can cause a range of adverse health effects from lung irritation to cancer. Some gaseous pollutants are included in the criteria pollutants. Some are considered air toxics, some are greenhouse gases, and there is also a naturally occurring radioactive gas called radon. Many gaseous pollutants come from burning fuel, but they can also be released as vapor from industries such as dry cleaning, oil production, and those involving solvents. Some gaseous pollutants can be measured with low-cost sensors. Communities can use low-cost sensors to measure their exposure to air pollutants and use that data to guide steps that reduce exposure and or emissions, thus improving the quality of the air.